MMA fans, as fighters face off at USC 278, you can also take down your own big victory with DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of UFC. This Saturday, new customers can bet $5 on any fighter to win and get $200 in free bets instantly. Want even more action? Combine multiple bets from the same fight, like which fighter will win, how long the fight will last, and more in the same game parlay. With same game parlays, DraftKings customers have a shot at making their bag even bigger if all the bets hit. DraftKings is safe, it's secure, and guys, it's reliable. Best of all, you can deposit and withdraw your money whenever you want. Download the DraftKings app right now. Use promo code SUNNEN, bet $5 on any UFC 278 fighter to win and get $200 in free bets instantly, no matter what. That's code SUNNEN this Saturday at DraftKings Sportsbook, the official sports betting partner of UFC. Kamara Usman explained why he wants to go to 205 pounds. Now, a couple things here, guys. Okay, Kamara Usman is days away from being on a scale. Add 24 hours to that, he's in the ring with Leon. Leon has thought about nobody for five and a half years but Kamara Usman. The same is not this true for Kamara. When you beat a guy and you put him in the rear view, I think that we all understand that. But he's days away. He did an interview. It had nothing to do with Leon. And we talked about this over, what are we to make of that? What are we to make that Kamara Usman is talking about everything from his brother to his training, to relationship advice, to boxing, Canelo. He's talked about everything you could talk about except Leon. What do we make of that? Anything? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm asking the question. It's unusual. And for a period of time, I thought, well, we're, it's just premature. His brother is what's up next. His commentary, the relationship advice, like these are what's next. This boxer versus MMA, yeah, he's, he's completely fine. When we get close to Leon, he's going to zero in. Well, this interview was done yesterday. I read it this morning. It had nothing to do with Leon. What do you make of that? No wrong answer. What do we make of that? Now, Kamara did say why he was looking at 205 pounds. This is a real look. This is a real insight into Kamara Usman. I am fascinated by Kamara. I never had his success. So it's very tough for me to tell you, right? I follow the golden rule in life all the time. Put myself in someone else's shoes. What would I do as a way of predicting what they're going to do? I can't. And I can't come to you guys, right? I mean, it's, it's a rare level of success. It's so rare that there's now a, a coin, a phrase coin just for him. It's called lapping the division. I've never heard that term in all of MMA. Dana White came out and talked about it for Kamar Usman for when you beat everybody and now you're beating them a second time. It's called lapping division. Imagine you're so good, Dana White's got to make up a phrase for you. Right? I mean, it's, it's a hard thing to explain Kamar Usman. What makes him tick? What keeps him motivated? Motivation will get its ass kicked. Motivation will get you beat when it's confronted by discipline. Discipline eats motivation breakfast all day long. So is that where Kamara's at? Is he just ultra disciplined? See, I think he's talking about Canelo, not because his eyes off Leon. I think that freshens things up. I think it's a new challenge. I think Kamara's talking about 205 pounds, not because he's not focused on Leon, because he's looking for something else to do. He's looking for a bigger challenge. I find that his level of success has put him in that unique of a spot. But he did give us some insight. He said, I'm looking at 205 about respect. I want people to know when they discuss me, they're discussing the greatest ever. I can live with that. I get it. I thought it was a very candid answer. It also surprises me that the number one ranked pound for pound fighter in the world who has been in a discussion for the greatest of all time, only going head-to-head -head with George St. Pierre. Over a period of time, he'll win that argument, by the way. is worried about getting respect. That surprised me. Almost disappointed me in us. What have we done to make him doubt himself or make him doubt our appreciation of him? What have we done? What kind of tweets is he receiving in his timeline? What kind of feedback is he getting where he thinks that that's 
even questioned. And if you're fighting for respect, you're not fighting for money. You're not fighting for championships. You're fighting for respect. That's a very different intangible. Because now you're talking about having a chip on your shoulder. It doesn't matter where that comes from. Whatever that chip is, wherever slighted you feel that you are, as long as it exists, even if you've got it created, I could sit here and tell Kamara 20 different ways that that's silly. The community views him in a wonderful light. If he doesn't believe it, that's very positive for him. I will warn and caution you guys. It's always okay to read and hear what people say about you, but don't believe it. Either way, if they tell you you're worthless, don't believe it. If they tell you you're the greatest, don't believe it. As soon as your eye comes off that ball, as soon as getting better even one degree every single day in practice, as soon as you start throwing up 15 minutes late and or leaving 15 minutes early, it's over. It's not going to come back. You do not go from one to five and return to one. And so Kamar Uzmas is sharing with us that he feels he's not respected in the way that he wants to. That's what 205 pounds is about. I don't think his eyes off Leon, guys. I realize he's not talking about him. I realize he's not building, but I don't think that his eye is off of him. If he is in the room working on his boxing and it's not to outbox Leon, it's out to box Canelo, that's a good thing. If he's in the room every day training and preparing and pushing himself and building his body and mind, it doesn't have to do with Leon, but it does have to do with Yuri Prohaska and or John Jones, should he return, and or Glover Teixeira, should he reinsert himself. It's one of these things, but that's what he's using. That's what he's needed because he's already lapped the division. I don't question Kamara for that. I'm learning from Kamara. I'm learning about Kamara. I'm learning what it's like when you're up there in that loft, when you don't have anybody you can turn to for advice because they've not done what you've done. They've not had the successes that you have had. It's very incredible. It does, in many ways, open an opportunity for Leon. Sure. Sure. The element of surprise is very effective. But I don't know that I'm buying that Kamara doesn't know fully what he's getting into, particularly in light of the fact that he's already done it. He's already been in there with Leon. Confidence will bite you. Guys love to talk about confidence. Coaches love to preach. Hey, you got to have confidence. How do I get confidence? How? What store do I go to? I'll buy it now. Quit telling me I have to have confidence. No, I don't. If I'm making chocolate chip cookies, I have to have chocolate chips. If I want to have success, I don't have to have confidence. And by the way, that's good because I can't. I can't control it. Those same coaches will tell you you have to want it. You have to be motivated. How? Where do I go to get motivation? why I tell you discipline trumps everything. Kamara is not not focused on Leon. He's putting himself and he's creating situations, even if it's within his mind, that are greater, harder, and more grand. That's how he's preparing for Leon. Don't misunderstand these interviews.